What's going on guys? So it's been another two weeks since I've posted a video. I apologize for that. Um, it's kind of hard because I'm going to school part-time and I'm working part-time and I've just been doing a lot of studying and reading. Um, and hopefully I don't say um a lot. I know I will, but I'm, I'm still getting used to this commentary stuff. Uh, so bear with me here. Now, this gameplay is an old gameplay. It's uh, this one is Dome. This clip is Dome. And I think I go 19 and 5 on this one. 19 and 5 or something like that. And then the next one is an older clip on uh, Mission. Oh god, I forgot. It's been so long. So, But I do, like, we lose in that game, but I do pretty well. I think I go 24 and 16 in that one. Um, and I thought I did pretty well, even though we lost. So, yeah, um, this gameplay, or this commentary, will be about remembering old times. I think another reason why I don't really play a lot of video games anymore is because uh, there were so many good times back, back then, you know, when I first started playing Call of Duty. Now, I first got an Xbox because of Grand Theft Auto 4. And, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that was the reason I got an Xbox. I remember seeing the GPS. I remember watching GTA Missions on YouTube. That was his username. And, and just being so fascinated by the GPS. I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. It has a yellow line and, you, <laughs> and it's in, like, real life. And, oh, I was such a nerd, but I, I was just, I was fascinated by it. Um... So yeah, I did that, and I didn't get G uh, Xbox Live right after that. I watched uh, Blame Truth on YouTube. Uh, he was the first the first commentary I commentator I watched. I watched his MW2 uh, Let's Play on Machinima, and I fell in love with MW2. And I just, without even playing it, I was like, I need to get that game. And so I got the game, and again, I didn't get Xbox Live right away. You know, I played the missions for a bit. I actually didn't know that there was an Xbox Live. There was an online section of Xbox. I had no idea. And then, you know, I, I continued watching Blame Truth, and I got... And uh, watching his videos of him playing online, I was like, how do you do this? Like, there's an online section? I was so confused. So I finally figured it out, and I got Xbox Live, and I sucked. I still suck, but like I sucked so bad. I remember just I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was like, okay, kill people, and I just ran up there, and I got like one in twenty-four <laughs> each game. Um, so yeah, I did that for a while, and then while playing MW Two, I met three guys, one of them Billy and Kyle and this guy named Punchy, that's not his real name, but he went by Punchy, and those three guys, we became friends, all the four of us, and we would play online all the time together, you know, we would, uh, that was when trick shotting was big, because of MW2, and so we would trick shot, you know, we would quick scope and trick shot, and when I met them, they, I remember Kyle and Billy, they invited me to a party, and they're like, Moo Moo, do you, like they call me Moo Moo back then. Um, Moo Moo, do you even know what quick scoping is? I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> so they taught me how. You know, I played some games with them again. I still sucked. I still suck at quick scoping. God, I'm so bad at that. But um, I don't know. We just did that for a while, and we practiced, and we would go into private matches on, on uh, what's that? Rust, Rust, free for all on Rust. And just quick scope all the time, and then sometimes we would trick shot. And yeah, I mean, I would always end up being the dummy because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So I would just sit there, and, and I, half the time I would get pissed off because I'd be like, I want a trick shot. But all I knew how to do was spin around in a circle, you know, do a 360 and shoot. But it was fun. I had so much fun with those guys, and I had so much fun on that game. You know, we would 
jump around from MW2 to COD4 to, and then when MW3 came out, we would play that. I didn't play Black Ops 1, I hated it. But we play MW3 a lot. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, my phone. And, yeah, I mean, I, I would have so much fun with those guys. And it was many good times, many good memories with those guys. And I don't know, like, <laughs> I feel like I'm getting really mushy and, like, sentimental here. But I don't think they'll ever know what they mean to me. I feel so weird talking or saying that. But I don't, I honestly don't think the three guys, those three guys will ever know what they mean to me. You know, because that was a, that was a darker time in my life. And Xbox was an escape. Many, uh, I don't think anyone on on here or listening to this will know that I went through depression. You know, and I still struggle with it. Um, so Xbox was an escape for me, and those three guys, my friends on Xbox Live, were my escape too. And you know, we would we would have this schedule, you know, like I would get home first because they're in a different time zone. I would get home from work and go on and I'd play by myself for a while and then as soon as they got on we'd invite each other, each other to parties and stuff like that and play together until late at night and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, we all had this schedule and it went on like that for a while and that was my escape. And Kyle and Billy and Nolan, if you're if you're watching this, just know that you guys mean more to me than you'll ever know. And I just I miss those times, you know. And I I know you know the, you got to move on sometime. Here, wait, here I try to shoot the AC one thirty down. But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, you got to move on. And I know those times are gone now. But I think that's part of the reason why I just. I hate playing Call of Duty now, you know, um, even watching this gameplay, MW3, I had so much fun in this game, and just Call of Duty in general, and everything kind of reminds me of those times, and I still have fun, like, I, I play with my brother a lot now, like, I play Minecraft and Grand Theft Auto now, um, and some Call of Duty, but I'm getting bored of Call of Duty, and I might be because because of the memories <laughs> that I had. I feel like this is such a stupid commentary, so sentimental and stupid, but I don't know. I feel like uh, I don't know. I just miss those times, and I don't know. May maybe uh, any of you do you feel like that, or is it just me, or am I just a big baby? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, it, it's hard for me to even play Call of Duty. Like, Black Ops 1, not so, or Black Ops 2, sorry, not so much. I had a lot of fun with that game. I played a lot by myself, and a lot with my brother, and some with uh, Kyle, and some with Nolan, you know, before we all went our separate ways, kind of, and, but mostly Black Ops 2 I played, like, by myself and with my brother, and with other friends, too. Um, but, so I'm able to play Black Ops 2 without, like, feeling sad about it. Um, but not really MW2 anymore, MW3 anymore. Um, uh, MW, Modern Warfare 2 is my love. Not my love, but, <laughs> you know what I mean. I mean, it's like the the game that got me started in Call of Duty. It's how I fell in love with Call of Duty. And I had so much fun with the game for the hundredth time. I had so much fun with that game, and I will never forget it, you know? And it's kind of just like in, in the archives, you know, back there. So, yeah. I don't know. I think that's... I'm repeating myself, I know that. I know I'm repeating myself. I'm just trying to talk, and because this video, I don't know, it's a few minutes longer than my story is. So, yeah, let me, let me know in the comments if you, um... If, if there's a game like that for you that you don't necessarily have a hard time playing, but you just, but you're just, you know, sometimes you remember good times and you can you kind of get sad about it, you know, you're kind of a big baby when you play it and think about it. If not, that's cool too, but I'm just saying, sometimes I'm like that. Um, 
So yeah, let me know in the comments if you feel the same way. Um, I'm probably going to stop talking here and I'll put music or something. Or you can just watch the gameplay. I don't know. Okay, bye. Friendly EMP. Their electronics are down. UAV online.